Hey, nerdlings. What's up, nerdlings? This is The Last of Us. We've had a bit of a fallout. <laughs> hey, Tom. Yes, dear. Would you like to hear a potentially unpopular opinion? <laughs> Let's go for it. I think the Fallout TV series is actually better than the Last of Us TV series. Oh my god! Before you dive into that, can I just say, what a great time to be alive that we are actually getting like all of these multimedia properties put out for yeah. video games. And most of us grew up with like the movies based based on video <laughs> games that's that's being generous but some of these shows are incredible and even the yes. movies are really great and i also just want to preface i loved the last of us tv show oh, it was i'm great. not saying it's bad at all i'm just saying i liked the fallout one better than the last of us one and that shocked me so why did you like it better honestly the main reason i liked it better is because it was in the universe of fallout it was not taking fallout 3 or fallout 4 or new vegas or 76 or anything like that it was not recreating the game it was legit here's another vault here's another vault dweller something goes wrong they have to go to the surface and we follow their story and that's the way every single game has been we pick a new vault, we pick a new dweller, and we follow it. You get, like, Easter eggs and stuff. And you're like, oh, I recognize that from the game, or I recognize that. Or they reference something, but it's completely new. They're not recreating the story. So you didn't have to not like the actor that they cast as this character because you didn't see them as that kind of a character. It's just, it's all brand new. Everything's new. Unlike The Last of Us, where they did 100% take the game, and put it on the screen and then you have that speculation Ooh, whoever they cast are they gonna be a good Joel are they gonna be a good Ellie there was less expectations that is a huge point actually I have long been a fan of the idea of expanding the lore of a world you don't have to exactly transpose something from yes. the source material into another media expand on that lore and give us more you know show us more of the world of the last of us that mm -hmm. would have been a lot of fun and as this is done, show us more in the world of Fallout. I mean, there are so many vaults, so yes. hey, you might as well build on that. And I like what you said, too, about the expectations, especially with, like, certain actors. Sometimes you have people like Pedro Pascal, who, he's, he's amazing. He's fantastic. Mm -hmm. He really kills it. But when he was first cast as Joel, I'm not going to lie, I didn't see it. He didn't really have the look to me. And the stuff that I had seen him in before, how I knew him... I didn't know if he could carry that same kind of cadence yeah. that the character Joel has. And that's unfair because, as you pointed out, you go into it with these preconceived expectations of what this character should be like, and you already have similar expectations of what this actor is like. And I think the problem with the Last of Us series is the video game capture, motion capture actors did such an amazing job. It did a great job of capturing their expressions, their voices, the way they did everything. It was so perfect, which is why we loved the video game so much. It was so endearing to us. So those were big shoes for the actors and the TV show to fill. And I actually was able to accept Pedro Pascal a lot better than I was the actress who played Ellie. She never felt like Ellie to me, never looked like it or acted like it. And it just didn't work for me. <laughs> That's why I think that, to me, didn't go over nearly as well as if we were just in Fallout picking a new random vault dweller. Because I think it would have been fun with Last of Us to have maybe Joel and Ellie show up. And, like, yes. we can hang, you know, see them, like, maybe in an episode or two. We're like, oh, hey, guys, it's cool, but we're still, you know, living in this world and doing something completely different. Something I would like to add to this is, and this isn't a comparison thing, but just kind of a, uh, a bit of a praise for the Fallout series. I really like the character Lucy in that she was not a perfect character. We mm -hmm. see that a lot in Hollywood now where it's it's just a character who they can do no wrong. They're uber powerful for no reason at all. Lucy made mistakes constantly and she paid for those mistakes, mm -hmm. but she grew from them. Lucy yes. had the kind of character growth that I'm used to seeing in movies, TV shows, games, from books and comics that I grew up with. And that's why I notice it when it's not there mm -hmm. in a lot of the modern takes that we have now. But they brought that back for this. 
and it works so well because it's very relatable. Yeah. You know, Lucy, of course she's going to be very naive, having spent all this time in the vault, but she learns how to survive in the wasteland. But because of, of that sweet innocentness about her, she helps other characters grow too. Like the ghoul, she brings back his humanity and he's a little bit nicer, you know, certain times. Maximus, he also isn't just out for himself anymore. He actually starts to care and realize, hey, other people can care about me and I can care about them. So it, it's kind of nice to watch a lot of character growth going on. Excellent and you get point. that because there's no preconceived story that you have to follow, I think. That's true. <laughs> well, guys, what do you think? Do you favor one TV series over the other? The Last of Us, Fallout, maybe another one. Twisted Metal, who knows? That was a fun one, by that the way. That one was too. fun. Hey, thanks, man. Love what you've done with your uh, fire hair. Looks really good. No, I'm just trying something new. But I'm really excited to be seeing a lot of these properties get a little more of the attention they deserve, yes. the polish that they deserve when they make that transformation from little screen not so little screen i guess with gaming now <laughs> to bigger screen which is also kind of a smaller screen because it's the same screen because we stream on tv the future is weird <laughs> leave those comments down below and i am going to uh go see what i can get into i hope you have the rad away because <laughs> you know what happens when i go wandering <laughs> does this thing have tetris <laughs> bye-bye nerdlings Mic check, Tom. Mic check. Mic check, Lacey. Mic check. Oops. I, I was trying to pose it as a question, and I don't know why I was trying to pose it as a question. Yeah, this ain't Jeopardy. I know. <laughs> I think The Last of Us TV series. No, I don't. Try it again. <laughs> Blooper reel. <laughs> I barely pushed the button, and it started like sink down in there and then this like wouldn't turn it's like oh this is great quality <laughs>